any quality of the film or anything like that right now. I've done an absolute, absolute rookie mistake and forgot both SD cards while getting everything sorted this morning, um, today, sorry. But anyway, here it goes, you're on the GoPro, so, you know, let's, <laughs> I'm just hoping that this is going to be alright, especially if we catch a fish. It's going to be a bit awkward taking a photo on something about, well, this big. Okay, so, I'm at Baden Hall, uh, I'm coming here for a 40 hour session and I'm on the damp pool at the moment. There's four of the lads on at the moment, they're, they're down the, the far side. They've never been here before, so I went out and looked at them. Uh, on, my, on my walk around, I actually seen um, someone landing a fish. So, well, playing a fish. So I asked him if he wanted that, and he said, yeah, because the landing net snapped. So I gave him a hand landing that. Well, that's say about £13. Well, either way, it was, it was £13, sorry. So, yeah, it was like cracking up a fish. Uh, there's fish all over me here at the moment. Uh, I actually haven't got a rod in the water because I was going to show you. Uh, Basically, the rig that I'm using, and I put it down somewhere, which is here. So it's basically just a knotless knot uh, on a hair rig with a piece of silicone on the hair, just to trap it like a blowback. A piece of string tubing on that, uh, and the hook is a uh, Northern Banks, uh, Northern Banks tackle range. It's a, it's a wide gate beak point and a size six barbless. But I'll be mounting to that. A, a starfish boily with probably I'd say, I'd say corn like fake corn at the moment because um, either that or like a tiny pink pop up only because I've just found out there's crayfish in this lake and I've never really had to deal with crayfish before the only time I've ever dealt with a crayfish was when I fished when I, with my dad when I must have been about 7 or 8 uh, on Baden Hall on one of the lakes but that was on a feeder back then so I'm gonna get the this round put in. Uh, I'll show you show you where that is later on. Um, I've got another rod to put in as well. I've got a marker up and all that kind of stuff. That's about 60 yards out that one, uh, which is the furthest chuck in here, I think. Uh, but the boat going basically into the margins, so I'm gonna get back to it. I need to conserve battery because I'm a wally. I forgot everything. Right, not most ideal situation. But as you know, I've got my SD cards. Later on, I found out I've got no uh, got no air torch. I believe the light, but there's oh, look, there's some scouts down the way there, and the legends he's going to lend me a spare air torch. As he came down to talk to me as well, I just caught this off the tier, off the top. So I'd say about, about eight pounds. Being feet, I've been seeing them jumping all the way down here, down the upper end of the lake. Starts to make the move, and. Uh, well, paid off after about half an hour. They were, they were taking bits, but they weren't taking it all, and then I got them feeding constantly. But, nice dark common, but I'm going to get them back in, because uh, back in the lake, because there's more taking the rest of the folks. So, pretty pleased with that one. So the vlog started off with a fish. I thought there's many more to come. folks 15 pounds three right, just... 15 three pounds common from Baden Oil it's a proper Baden Oil common this one uh, this is a new surface surface fishing PB for me well because there's no surface fish at all as you, as you all know from my blogs but I thought he was actually bigger than this to be fair when I when I when I, when I, when I left him I thought he was, he was a good a good higher double, maybe even a twenty, but he could do that twenty pound but I can't grumble at him. He's a lovely, lovely fish. You know, a bit of a weight in my hands because I've only been used to catching tiny fish this year, so this is even better. So see if I can get a couple of stills off the GoPro. Go from there. Right. Third fish of the trip. And uh, this one's, I, I think, had, look, I haven't weighed them, but I put a guess at about £12. Um, yeah, this one didn't even know it was hooked. It, it swallowed it, like, whole. I haven't got a disgorger or nothing. I had to use a stick. But, 
Next pair is on. It's on. Damn. Next pair is on. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with this one. I'm just gonna see if there's a couple more for you. Not bit I fed over it while I was while I landed it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can snap another one. But the other legs, the other side of the legs, gone dead. And so is the other pools as well. But this one should start to kick off again. So still plenty of time for another. But say pretty happy with this one now. To get him back. Right, okay, a little bit of an update. Uh, so, so far I've had, um, I think I've had four fish in total. Uh, I've lost a couple. They've all been on the top so far. Um, yeah, one I didn't film. Uh, I just didn't get around to doing it, to be fair. With the day being so so hot as it is, I know the fish just came right back through the swim again, sorry. Uh, with the day being the way it is and so hot, I've literally just been lapping the lake. Uh, I haven't sat behind rods until the night time. So I'm basically just floating fishing for every fish that I can see at the moment. So I'm fishing with one rod. That's why the lack of updates have, have been a little bit, you know, I haven't really been there because, I say, I've been trying to maximise chances and grab these fish. But I'm happy with the pretty way the things go at the moment. I mean, you know, things would be a bit more ideal where I could have a proper camera. You know, that would have helped. But well, can't grumble because the GoPro's doing a, a, a smashing job with, the, with what I've got at the moment. Well, just the, the purpose of this, the, this little piece is now just to update you, saying it's what R three on the first proper day. So yeah, I'm, I haven't eaten nothing since yesterday, so I need to eat something because oh, that's why I'm getting a little bit tired. But every time I go to eat something, I see a load of fish cruising past, and like I can't have one of them. But I'm happy, I say I'm happy the way things are at the moment, but this is going to be no no long blog by any stretch. And um, I had loads of ideas what I wanted to put together in, in in this particular blog, and unfortunately I'm not going to get to do it because I can't do it on this um, little camera. But needs must, and I want to get a blog out, so this is it. But I'll show you the swim. And basically on, I think it's peg 23 in the damn pool, on the deep end, you've got just, where's the finger, the, uh, that's where the inlet is, where there's a bridge. Um, I did have one on there last night, but it got eaten by the craze. So I've had to obviously redo that. And then I had another one, there's a big bush, where's my finger, yeah, there I had one under that. Um, which uh, I've seen a lot of fish pass through. It's only about uh, two and a half foot. It's two and a half foot there, three foot on top of the, the bridge, well, the bridge plateau, and then drops right away, uh, straight from that bridge into a foot. So, you know, I, I, I was fishing zigs last night most of the time, if I'm being honest, but uh, I'm, I'm not the most confident zig angler. So, I didn't have a rest last night on that because I was getting I was getting plagued by something last night. But, Anyway, that's the way the session's going. My baby's a mess, mess, and I need to really uh, crack on and see if I can get more fish. Right, okay, little, uh, another little installment. Uh, so, so the last time I, sp I spoke to you, not really much has happened. I've had a few wanders around. Um, it's been fish on the top, but they're not being taken. It's just just under the surface and that they may take the odd one or two uh, the one or two floaters but I just so, so thought tonight what I'll do is because I had very very little sleep last night I found a new spot out there um, this morning for, the, for my left hand rod and a new spot for my right hand rod now one's on the margin and one's literally smack bang in the middle of this lake basically the reason why today this morning it looked like a jacuzzi, it was fizzing up like something mad. So I've been keeping it topped up with bait all day. Uh, but yes, that was the left hand rod. Um, that'll probably be the craze, that in fact. We'll find out soon enough. Yeah, so I've been keeping that topped up all day. I've just I've just threw quite a lot of bait on it now. I've got to feel like tree fishing again. But 
excuse me, while I turn out my dinner. Yeah, so I've done that, and I've been keeping the, the, the manager's pots off the whole day as well. With the same thing, pellet and boilies. Me, um, well, I am starting to use. Quite. Yeah, Northern Bates. It's the uh, starfish one. Basically, it's made. It's actually made out of starfish. It sounds pretty sick. Uh, it doesn't smell particularly nice, but neither does half the bait that we use anyway. Yeah, that's where that's worked well for me anyway. I've, I've been doing that. Um, been using obviously now with Northern Banks tackle. I've been using uh, their tackle all day and hasn't let me down once. Absolutely perfect. Sharp at the packet, lovely, perfect. Um, as for my dinner, the small matter of I'm having burritos. On the ridge monkey. Let's see how this turns out though. So far. So good. So I'm gonna tuck into this little baby and if anything happens I'll get back to you. If not, I'll do an update either later on or in the morning. Right. Right, well, it's half four in the morning, and uh, the eight foot zig is just ripped off. Thought it was a um, thought it was liners, been getting liners on it all night, but uh, nope, this 14 pound common has been the result of it. Uh, what can I say about zig fishing? I'm not, as I say, I'm not very good at it, but this has just turned out to the just the to convince me that. Should give it a go a bit more often. But yeah, I'm happy with this one if not if it did beat me up. But sorry if the uh, the light isn't too good. Let's see if I can get some better photos. But uh, yeah, I'm rather pleased with this one. Well, you see me casting the zig crawfish for which bit, which coincidentally was my first ever zig crawfish. Um, this one now is my second zig crawfish. Now, what I've done was, as soon as we caught it, I unhooked it in the net. This is the first fish I'm talking about, and recast it back into the same spot. And I was getting some funny indications, funny bleeps, because I, I say I don't fish for zigs, so I'm not sure what the indications are. And um, I've got a few more, and I decided. I'll, um, I'll just double check and add this on the end. So, more than happy with this one. I'd say probably about 11, maybe 12 pounds. Quite dumpy. More than happy. So, it's the 7th of. Okay, well, I'll show you this side. The 7th of the session. So, quite happy with that. Let's get him back. Right, well. I just thought I'd uh, apologise for basically the language, not bad language, but basically how I was speaking in the last two um, like blog entries. I've not really long woken up and my mouth clearly isn't working just yet. So, yeah, sorry about that, uh, folks. But, yeah, so what I've got it on the left hand rod uh, is an uh, Ellie foot zig. Now, yesterday I said that I put on, um, I found the spot that was fizzing up that looked like a jacuzzi. Yeah, that, that was the case. Now, I was getting handled by craze most, most of, like, say, up until about half 10, 11 o'clock last night. So, while it was still light, I decided to put a zig on. So, I whipped up the zig that I had on the night before. Uh, a little black piece of foam, uh, size, I think it's a size 10 hook, so it's a tiny hook. Um, 
whipped it out there. Now we can get a funny cans on it all night. I don't think I don't think there'd be anything really because I haven't hit them. And then this morning I had one that was a, that was a bit more of a cans and it was it was quite a bit of a tea, uh, which resulted in my first ever zig called carp. Um, and it was that that common that you see with this morning. Um, so yeah, I unhooked that one in the net, and then I've then uh, cast them out to the same spot, and then within about, about ten minutes of putting the other fish back, so you're looking at about twenty minutes time. There was another another fish in my land on net. Now I, I find it strange playing the fish on a zig. It, it just feels bizarre because you got that really long light hook link. And it's just and it's you know if your lead doesn't do quite discharge like the second one didn't for me. It, uh, it's bouncing around, it didn't really help matters, but if this came in, not a problem. It just wants to beat me up on the margins as as, as per the, as I do here, but I'm really starting to enjoy myself in this session. Um I've been all down pool. I'll definitely be coming back, but I'll definitely be coming back with more floaters and more, more zig fishing gear because fish on the bottom is I wouldn't say it was a pain, but it's a uh, you are gonna get pestered by the craze. Now I've had one down the margin all night, uh checked it before and it's it's fine. It hasn't been nibbled or eaten or anything like that. So that's not that's not too bad. That's a pop up that one. A dairy cream pop up uh, over a bed of starfish boilies. But the boilies will probably all be gone. The craze probably won't have them off, but not the pop up. So I've got I've got more hours left of the session. I'm going to start packing the baby down soon because I don't need it. It's going to be another glorious day. So uh, I shall get back to you once I've finished. Right, okay, so uh, I've just stalked this one out of the edge. The group of about, believe it or not, six or seven fish. I've been keeping an eye on this that, that spot for a while now. Tried it yesterday, nothing happened. But there's a lot of fish there, and I just flicked literally from about 10 foot from the bank, like one floater at a time. And he started gradually taking it. And then I cast out my me, me actual floater bolt machine straight into the lake and wound it back in dead gingerly. And a uh, Resulted in this this little chap, but although yeah, he's probably the smallest of the session. All the more welcome. But I've noticed there's a, there's a fish nearly swam into my net as I was trying to net this one. I couldn't believe it. I was I was, I was dumbfounded. I was looking at. It. I was thinking, no. Would have been good though. I wouldn't have cleaned it, but it would have been good. Would have showed you guys, but no. But um, you know, okay, so this is like. I think it's been seventh or eighth fish for the session, and I've still got plenty of time left to grab some more. And there's fish showing everywhere, so I'll further the gym where to get this. This, like I was saying, I'm just gonna get him back. So let's get him back. He's, he's still a tiny bit lively, right? Right, okay. So obviously I'm not fishing on water. I've had to back up a managed to get another fish. Um, unfortunately, uh, the GoPro had died. The charger, lovely enough, was in the car, so I just plugged it in while I'm driving. Um, yeah, so the session went really well, so I think I ended up on what, nine, ten fish, something like that, but all right. It's, the, damp, the damp pool itself is classes of runs water, but I, think, I don't think it's as easy as the middle pool. Especially because it has, it, as it has actually been fishing very well at the moment, but I've done really well. But on the plus side, though, as I was leaving, um, there was Tig Tong, he was there, so Ian MacMill, and um, Dan O.I.P. was doing a feature there. Yeah, he's a nice fella. Didn't really want to talk to him for too long because he was obviously doing a, doing a shoot, so I left him to be there to set allow him. Now, you know, the general chit chat. The next time I'm going to be out then. Is probably going to be um, the YouTube bloggers match, so that's that's another seven weeks away. That um, I may get out in between them, but I've got I've got a lot I've got a lot in around my own life to try and sort out like the house on the market, work and whatnot. So probably be like another seven seven or eight weeks away before the next vlog is out. Uh, I don't don't know where the venue is just yet, so I'll have to check on that and do my research and whatnot. Oh. Cracking, cracking session though, I mean the biggest fish mid double to 17 pounds, that's something on them lines. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, brilliant. Uh, didn't get off to a flyer, but you know, I've got 
caught, I've caught, caught quite a few in there, they've all been anchored off the top, not, not one fish from the bottom. So it's been it's been a real eye opener. It's just to uh, safe fishing and and, uh, and, to, and to, into zigs as well. I'm gonna keep yourself a bit more zig fishing as well. I'm gonna be a bit more confident in that. I hope you uh, hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this blog. I say it's not gonna be too long. I hope it hasn't been too long. I hope I've rattled on too much for you. But if you like what you're seeing, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And don't forget to share share it around all the social media aspects. And don't forget to look out for any competitions that Northern Bank's tackled in and myself. And uh, hopefully I'll see you on the bank sometime.